2004 Escalade 6.0. Okay, YouTubers, this bolt stripped. It's one of them stupid hicks. And it's stripped. I got the bottom one out, but they are super tight. So I'm gonna try to hit it with the chisel here and try getting it out this way. This stripped on me. These are worthless engineered bolts. So now I'm gonna try to take a chisel. And I couldn't see last night, so I was actually hitting, I think the <laughs> caliper. But I'm gonna hit that bolt right there and try to spin it off with the chisel. If not, I'm gonna go in here and try to grab it with vice grips and see if that'll work. Okay, I'm gonna start the show off by tapping it here and see if I can get it to turn loose. Okay, I'm trying the vice grips now. <clears throat> Nothing, guys. Okay, another thing that makes it hard to get to is the location we're in. It's real hard. So I think I'm just gonna loosen this, take this line completely off, I'll get it out of the way and work on the whole caliper off on the ground. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna pinch the line so I don't have any fluid going everywhere. And I'm gonna take that bolt off. All right, time to take the gloves off. And when y'all do these, and when y'all do this, guys, be careful. You have some fresh washers right here. You don't wanna lose them because you're gonna need them. I'm gonna take off my gloves. I'm trying to show you them crush washers. Right there's one. Where you at? Right. Right there's one, the crush washer. And you should have one on this side too. It's so stiff I can't see it. Alright. Now I'm gonna attempt to pull the whole caliper out. All right, I bungee cord this out of the way. And that's the little booger that's giving us hell. That slide pin stripped. And this is more work because now we're gonna have to bleed the system, which I didn't wanna do. And you can also try applying heat. I tried that last night, but I, I that uh, brake line was too close to it and it's rubber and I didn't want to burn it up. So I stopped doing that. But right here, it's off the vehicle. Nothing's around it. I've got a lot of room to just weld on it with a hammer or if I need to put some heat on it. It's in my territory now. I'm in charge here. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try the uh, uh, chisel and hammer first. And if that don't work, I'll try the vice grips and then heat. I hate using the heat because I don't have real good torch, but that'll work. All right, buddy, you're in my territory. You're mine now. Oops. I'll just try whacking it again real hard. Here it goes. <clears throat> Woo, I think it worked. Yep, look at that, guys. I told you you were my territory. You don't mess with me, buddy. It's getting stuck again, but it's just because it's being stubborn. Let me get the hex wrench or hex socket. Should come out. Well, now you want to come out, huh? Just had to beat you a little bit. See, what happens this is a real bad engineering design. These will strip, and then you're screwed. That's where I put an indention and just whacked it with that. And now they have an upgrade at your parts stores where you can replace this with actual nut on the back. And I'm gonna try to do that because these suck the big one. Even though I got it off, now it's extra work. I gotta bleed the system. I may just bleed that side. I may be able to get away just bleeding that side. Sometimes you do, sometimes you gotta bleed the whole system. All right, let me show you. I just went to uh, O'Reilly's and got this. This is what I'm talking about. The heck with this BS crappy engineer slide pin. There we go. It's got a bolt pattern on the back so you can use a ratchet or a wrench. 
Not these crappy things that strip out all the time. Okay, let's just make sure it's the right thread. With the way things been going for me lately. Watch it be a different thread. Nope, perfect. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the caliper on there. Get that line back on there. So when I get all done, don't have to worry about that. That's already done. So I wanna see if this is gonna fit. Yep, perfect. 